Uh, in this session, we'll be talking about an SPFX extension, which is called as Personal Assistant. And this extension has been developed uh, using uh, a feature of OpenAI called as Function Calling, and uh, we'll be using Microsoft Graph as well. Right. Uh, uh, quickly about myself. My name is Anup. Uh, I'm an MVP in the Microsoft 365 development category, and I work at a company called as Content and Cloud based in the UK. Uh, there are links uh, to my uh, various profiles, so you can follow me on those platforms if needed. Right, let's jump into the demo first uh, and then understand what this personal assistant extension is and then look at the code. Okay. So uh, what I have here is um, uh, my development tenant. And uh, uh, in, in this development tenant, I have just opened uh, a site. Uh, and then uh, if you see right at the bottom over here, uh, we've got this SPFX extension, which is called as personal assistant. Um, so if I just click on that, uh, it's nothing but a chatbot, and then I can ask, start asking questions to it. So firstly, if I ask, who am I? Uh, then uh, uh, it, it replies, uh, it should reply in a minute uh, with, with the correct answer. Uh, and then let's say if I uh, want to ask this question as to when am I meeting Megan next? Uh, uh, so what happens here is uh, using the power of uh, OpenAI and Microsoft Graph, uh, we get the information from the calendar, uh, and then it says uh, I'm meeting Megan Bowman next uh, tomorrow uh, in a meeting called Sprint Meeting. Uh, now, if I ask another question, something like uh, Am I attending a webinar soon? Uh, uh, what happens here again is uh, you know. Uh, the events are obtained from my calendar using Microsoft Graph uh, and OpenAI formats that and sh uh, shows it to me in a nice way. Just to prove that uh, these are correct, so you can see that there is a sprint meeting uh, tomorrow uh, with Megan, uh, and then uh, there is a webinar called uh, What is SharePoint happening on the 31st of uh, August, uh, and uh, that's what is is returned here as well. Then if I just uh, ask one more question saying, what are my upcoming tasks? Uh, so what happens here is, uh, again, Microsoft Graph is used to get the uh, tasks from the planner, uh, and then those details are sent uh, to OpenAI, and then the information is uh, displayed saying, uh, you know, uh, what are the tasks and when they are due by. And then finally, if I ask one last question saying, are the trains running? Uh, and then because this is a personal assistant and this question is kind of out of scope, uh, so uh, the bot replies with, uh, you know, it cannot check uh, train schedules as it's a work-based assistant. So that's what uh, this extension is, uh, an SPFX uh, extension, uh, which uses uh, some capabilities of Microsoft Graph uh, and uh, OpenAI function calling and uh, returns the results. Right, uh, so uh, that was the demo. Now let's understanding, uh, sorry, let's understand uh, what what, uh, what the scope of this application is and what are the different elements involved. Uh, so firstly, uh, this this uh, this particular uh, feature that I showed just now is applicable to both OpenAI and Azure OpenAI. However, the sample only uses uh, OpenAI. Uh, in the future, I'll be uh, using Azure OpenAI and submitting a pull request as well. Uh, and the OpenAI models that were used, uh, uh, or uh, the OpenAI open models to which this is applicable are GPT-3.5 Turbo and GPT-4. Right, so let's understand what function calling is uh, uh, so that uh, we, we come to know why we are using that feature in this particular sample. Uh, so function calling is one of the uh, features provided by OpenAI, uh, which the way I think of it is, uh, is just that it allows us to extend the OpenAI models, uh, basically adding some extra capabilities. Uh, say, for example, if we ask OpenAI uh, what the current weather is, uh, then the models uh, you know, won't be able to provide us with that information because those models have been trained uh, until I think September 2021. So uh, they won't be able to provide us that information. 
However, if we tell OpenAI that you know we have some functions in our code uh, which which can provide the weather data, say, uh, say we have function uh, which gets the current weather or gets the weather for the uh, future five days, something like that. So we can tell OpenAI that we have these functions in our code. Uh, so, and then if we if we pass uh, the names of those functions along with uh, what they do to OpenAI and we pass the user's question as well, then OpenAI tells us, okay, uh, based on the question you provided, you need to call uh, this particular function. Uh, and then uh, uh, because OpenAI tells us which function we need to call from our code, uh, the name uh, function calling. Right, now let's understand that uh, in a bit more detail. So here uh, on the left, uh, we've got this personal assistant and let's imagine that this, this personal assistant application uh, or be it any other uh, application which uses OpenAI API uh, and uh, this application doesn't have function calling. Um, so as you can see, if I ask a question like, when am I meeting Megan next? Then this question is sent to OpenAI and then OpenAI comes back saying, uh, you know, I'm sorry, I do not have access to your calendar, which is right. So uh, with uh, what we can, uh, with the introduction of function calling, what happens is, uh, when we send the question to OpenAI, saying when am I meeting Megan next, we also send some of these functions that we have in our code. Uh, so we have these functions called get my details, get my events, and get my tasks. The implementation of these functions will be handled by us, but we are letting OpenAI know that, hey, we've got these functions in our code as well. Uh, so this, this request along with the user question and the functions is sent to OpenAI. OpenAI then analyzes that and then comes back saying, you need, uh, we need to call the function get my events. And then uh, it also tells us which argument, uh, you know, the, the argument, uh, what should be the value of the argument. We would have sent this argument to OpenAI as well. And OpenAI tells us, uh, you know, the value of the, uh, the argument. So in this case, uh, OpenAI tells us call the function called get my events and uh, use the argument feature events as true. Once that is done, what we do is uh, we call the get my events function on our side, and that that get my events function uses Microsoft Graph, uh, gets the events, and then uh, passes that raw response back to OpenAI. Uh, so as you can see, I've highlighted over here uh, the the JSON that is passed to OpenAI. OpenAI then analyzes that JSON, converts it into natural language, and then sends the response back. And then what we do is in our application, we just go ahead and uh, display that response. So that's what function calling is. Now that we have understood what function calling is, uh, let's look at the code that, that was used uh, for this application. Uh, so all this code uh, will be um, present on the SPFX uh, dev extensions repository soon. Uh, so this is called the React Application Personal Assistant uh, sample. Uh, we put the main component, which is the personal assistant, and uh, that has got some HTML, uh, which is nothing but a button and uh, and a div. Uh, so clicking on that button uh, opens uh, this div, which has got some components which show the different messages. Uh, now within that same component, uh, we have a method uh, called as on send click. Uh, as per the name, it it executes when we send send a, a or when we type in a message and hit enter. Uh, so what we do here is uh, we take the message provided by the user and then put that in an array called as OpenAI messages. Um, so we are using the set OpenAI messages, which is uh, uh, one of the state variables in, in this component. And as soon as we update the OpenAI messages array, uh, what happens is this particular React uh, hook uh, is triggered, which is the use effect on this OpenAI messages. And what that does is, uh, it goes ahead and calls OpenAI ultimately. So as you can see on line number 218, uh, we are calling OpenAI with uh, with the messages uh, th that, that we had just constructed. Along with that, we'll be also passing uh, this variable called as functions. Now, how does uh, what does that variable look like? So if I just bring up this image, uh, you can see that what we are passing to OpenAI is this, uh, this messages array, which contains uh, firstly, 
the message provided by the user. And then we are, we'll be passing these functions, uh, you know, the three functions which I showed to you earlier, uh, get my details, get my events, and get my tasks. And let we let OpenAI figure out which function uh, it needs to uh, reply back with. So if we just quickly look at the details of one of these functions, uh, so this is nothing but a JSON object. So the main thing is uh, the name of the function, and then we need to give it a proper description because that's what OpenAI will use uh, to, to understand what function uh, needs to be called based on the user's question. Uh, we also need to provide um, an argument that the function will, uh, will expect uh, and a description uh, for that argument as well. Towards the end of this uh, session, I'll be sharing a link which explains uh, the details of all these um, uh, uh, properly. Right, so we've got the functions, uh, we've got our message, and then uh, we call OpenAI. Uh, once, uh, when we call OpenAI, uh, OpenAI takes that and then responds uh, uh, with something like this. It says, uh, you need to call a function and then in the function call uh, object, it says the name of the function and uh, the arguments uh, of the function. So what we do in our code is uh, we, we 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 take all these uh, details, the, the name of the function and the arguments, and then we parse that JSON. And then once that JSON is parsed, uh, we, we go ahead and call the particular function which we need to call. In this case, it is get my events. Uh, so we've got a class called as use Microsoft Graph. In that, we've got a function uh, which is get my events, and that particular uh, function goes ahead and hits the me slash events endpoint, and then gets all the events uh, in a nice JSON format. Once we get all those events, we pass that particular response back to OpenAI. Uh, this is what we are doing here. So you can see that uh, uh, whatever result is coming back. Uh, we are putting that in a variable, and then uh, after that, we are going ahead and setting the OpenAI messages again with that particular uh, uh, response. And then once this happens, uh, what we do is, again, we go ahead and call OpenAI by passing these new messages. Uh, OpenAI goes ahead and analyzes that and then replies um, saying we need to uh, stop the execution now, and then it, it gives us the plain text as well. Uh, so that particular plain text, which is in natural language, we go ahead and display uh, in our in our app. Right, so in summary, uh, function calling is available in OpenAI and Azure OpenAI. Uh, we saw how we are using it, uh, using OpenAI, but uh, similarly, we can use it in Azure, using Azure OpenAI as well. Uh, now this sample that uh, that that I showed to you is not production ready uh, because all the code is client side, uh, uh, which means uh, you know uh, the OpenAI key is uh, being uh, passed from the cl client side, uh, so that should not be the case. Uh, all this code needs to be moved to server side. Uh, so what I'll do in the future is I will submit a PR using Azure OpenAI, uh, and then that all that code will be uh, server side. Uh, I'll, I'll be submitting a PR related to that soon. Uh, and then another improvement is uh, there's no need to pass these functions uh, in every request. We can pass them only when needed. So all that will be taken care later. And here are some of the resources that were used uh, for this demo. So the OpenAI function calling, Azure OpenAI function calling, and then the uh, link to the sample itself. Right, uh, that's it from uh, my side. And I'll be monitoring the chat for any questions.